All right, so I backed into a concrete column a couple weeks ago, and you may have seen my other video where I um, touched up the paint and, and made it look better. Today, I'm gonna change my tail lights. Obviously, this one's broken. These are the tail lights I had on the car when I bought it used. They're hella magic colors, and they're smoked. Um, they look, I think they look really great on the car, but uh, a set new is 250 bucks before it's shipped, and that's pretty hella expensive. Um, I wanted taillights soon. I didn't want to have to wait until I could try and find a single and buy it. And I, I thought that these Euro smoke taillights look pretty cool. So this is what I'm going to be putting on. They're, uh, they're Helix brand. And I bought them on eBay for, instead of, uh, 250 before shipping, I bought these Helix Euro taillights, uh, Red smoke, red red for $94.99 uh, shipped. And we're gonna put them on today. I'm gonna try and uh, sell this single and maybe uh, that'll help someone out who backed into a column on their passenger side. Um, when installing these, it's important to note that you got on the passenger side, you've got three bolts and then this press on nipple. And on the driver's side, You've got just three bolts, one, two, and three. That's not a press-on nipple. So on our passenger side, once we remove that cover, you can see we have one, two, three nuts to remove. And then remember that you have that uh, nipple on the, on the lateral aspect of the light around, around here. And you're gonna pull that out. I'm gonna start with my driver's side. And you can see that there are one and two nuts to remove there. If you remember that third nut, instead of being a pull-out nipple, is again lateral kind of out here. And that just so happens to line up with where my amp's located. So it looks like I'm going to have to remove that. I'm going to start by removing that Torx nut and seeing how far that gets me in the process. The, the nuts that hold the lights on are eight millimeter, and I found I found it to be more handy to use the driver than a uh, socket with an extension. So uh, we'll get to work, and I'll check in on how we're coming with this amp here. Now this uh, one screw really didn't do a darn thing. I uh, removed the two screws that held my amp down. Um, found another screw back here. I loosened, and now I'm gonna loosen. Uh, let's see. This screw up, this bolt up there, and this bolt back here, both 10 millimeters, and we should be able to access where that the back side of that taillight is. A little more work than I expected. All right, so after taking out the two bolts, um, one and two, the uh, it was just clipped on using this clip here to the metal, and I just kind of wiggled it free, and now. When I pull back this carpet, you can see in this in this hole right here is the nut we're looking for. You know, not not the easiest thing to get to. Not not the best design I've seen. So I got that final nut off. I'm not knowing where this hole goes, and not wanting to have to find out. I. Uh, duct tape my uh, socket on there and then put a little glue in it so I wouldn't lose the bolt. Um, you might have a little more confidence in your skill or have a better idea on how to prevent loss, but that worked for me, so yeah. All right, so now that we've got the uh, old one off, we're gonna put the new one on. I'm gonna leave the plastic on, but I'm just to kind of hope to keep you from scratching it. I'm gonna pull off the edges a little bit so I don't have to worry about getting those stuck. So the uh, rear tail light is installed now with its uh, three bolts and I've reinstalled the, the harness and the amp and put the um, light apparatus in. Uh, fitting the tail light was not the most fun thing I've done in the world. The, uh, the bolts are straight whereas the uh, light is curved and so you kind of like flex it a little bit 
but it's a rigid plastic and that was not a really comfortable feeling but it, it came into place the uh there's a little mismatch here and i'm not sure how much of that is i did you know back into a concrete pillar and so i probably changed the shape of my bumper a little bit based on this little mismatch so i'm not sure how much of that is my car and how much is the light well we'll we'll know more when we look at the other one so we're gonna move on to it now we're moving the good tail light and i've loosened the three and removed the three nuts on the back and backed out the uh light plate you can look back in the car and see where there's this rubber grommet flange or you can just look at your new one and see it so now i've removed the three bolts all i have to do is is loosen that i'm gonna squirt a little wd-40 back there just to make it an easier process and it's a, a square pull out you don't have a whole lot to hold on to and i don't want to break it so i'm gonna be careful here because i'm i'm gonna try and sell this tail light on ebay there is some WD-40 on there and it, and it pulled out quite nicely. So now we're just going to install the passenger side and because we don't have an amp or any of that stuff, this side is going to be a lot easier and I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Alright, so now both taillights are installed. The passenger side was uh, both easier, lacking the amp, and also easier to fit and also looks like a better fit. So I guess that my, my bumper is um, disfigured a bit from his run in with that concrete column but car is repaired thanks for watching